Up next, thanks for sharing. People decide that they want to make a change, they start with the best intentions. And this is especially true for entrepreneurs who start a business and business owners who decide to grow their business. You set a goal, you start taking actions. However, when you focus exclusively on those actions, it takes a lot of hard work and the demands on willpower will be enormous, especially if you don't look at what's underneath some of those actions. There are many things influencing your actions, including your past experiences and even your thoughts. And if you felt at one point that you were cheated out of a business deal, then you'll take action, but the action will be in the context of just don't trust anyone. What's running in the background is what's also leaving you both disempowered and discouraged. In my annual Wake Up Profitable Boot Camp for business owners, one of the key steps in taking a systems approach to profitability is to master that inner mindset. So it's no secret that even in the most successful business owners get stopped because of something on the inside. And one of the most distracting things that can stop you are those self-limiting or self-sabotaging thoughts. In a study in um, Psychology Today, it was estimated that we have anywhere from 25,000 to 50,000 thoughts a day. And if, you're, if your thoughts are predominantly negative, imagine how many thoughts you're generating daily, thousands upon thousands. You allow yourself to pay attention to those messages and you easily believe them. And if you think each day that you couldn't possibly meet a certain profitability goal because you don't have the expertise or the education, you'll approach your prospects with apprehension and this will impact your results. It ultimately comes down to choosing. Choosing to listen to the self-limiting or negative head talk or just thank your mind for sharing and take action consistent with your contribution. I'm Lisa Menini. Until next week, create a great life. Bye now.